Hello everybody and welcome to the new Let's Play of the channel. Sorry I haven't been on for a while, it's just that with all this COVID and all that, it's just been really depressing and I've got family problems going on and all that, so I've been a bit busy doing all that. Yeah, I'm back now, so I'm going to try and do a couple of videos a week. I'm not trying to push myself as I was doing, which would make me worse than all the way it was. Um, so, say. so yeah, don't forget to smash the like button, press the bell as well, press the like button as well, that'd be most helpful, I'm trying to get people to sub to me as well, I'd be most appreciated. And let's do this, because this is Sherlock Holmes and Dracula's Daughter or something like that. It's a new game, so it's completely all new to me, blind let's play. Never played before, so let's enjoy this and work on this together. I do apologize. Am I disturbing you? No, please. You come in, Mrs. My name is Miss Alice de Bouvier. I'm Mr. Holmes' new neighbor. Oh, I didn't have the pleasure to. Uh, I am Dr. John Watson. Could we provide you with any assistance? Oh, she is not the concern, Watson. I'm. <laughs> then, what is this about? Oh. That child standing sniffling behind her. Get rid of him, Watson. But he is shivering with cold. And he is upset. What happened to him? Little Tom knocked at the wrong door. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, boy, come in. Warm yourself by the fire. Can I offer you a cup of tea, Mr. Bouvier? Well, I... It is not as though we are disturbing you-know-who. Are we? I suppose not. Since you are our new neighbor, it is perhaps better that you know what he's like. You're starting to worry me. Well, Mr. Holmes is relapsing. His illness that he has seizes him when he finds himself with nothing to do. He becomes completely asocial. And alas, this is a very difficult, medically incurable case. Now this must stay between us. Of course, I understand. How very sad. But there is a cure, if only a temporary one. A thrilling inquiry. Most certainly. If he refuses this one, then his condition will worsen. Oh, I am still here, you know. I didn't fall out of the window. Very well, then. Thank you, miss. Alright, so why are you here? Let's have a look. Recent weeping. So press L. Right, I have looked at the controls before. Have a so I save. So press forward. Pale skin.
what's that? Map of London. So we can read and re use a map. Nutrition. Uh, press Y. <coughs> right, so Tom is an eight-year-old. His clothes are well worn and have multiple patches. Neatly applied. Tom's parents are concerned for his well-being. His pale skin insights that he is suffering from malnutrition. He looks sad, his eyes are red. Press. Left or right. No, that way. Has been weeping very recently. Tom's malnutrition could have been caused by his mother's for nurturing during pregnancy. Oof. Uh, so you have to press A for this part, I think. Yeah. Now tell me, boy, what brings you here? It's, it's my father, sir. He's missing. I, I don't know what to do. Um, his name? What's his name? George Hurst, sir. What happened? And when was the last time you saw him? Three weeks ago. He left for a new job. But this time, he was acting a bit strange and angry. Missing? Missing, eh? And what do the police say? The police? They don't believe me. They say he's just abandoned me. But that's a lie. They say the he was just in Banton camp. Tom says eight years old. Oh. What do you mean, sir? Nothing. I was digressing. Oh, he's eight years old. Yeah, I get that. Strange. In what way? He said to me, son, I'm out on a special job. Don't you dare move from here. I think something went wrong. So three weeks. Three weeks? That's a long time. Well, every day I thought he would show up. And anyway, I can look after myself. What do you mean, sir? Nothing. I was digressing. Damn it. Very well. Your address, please, Tom. 12 Dorset Street. The first floor, door E. It's in Whitechapel, sir. But I ain't got no money to pay. Who asked for money, Tom? Your case seems to be the very medicine I need. I'll meet you there shortly. Oh, thank you, sir. Alright, so I've done all that. Uh, invest investigate the disappearance of Tom's father, George Hurst. Expose Hurst... Hov Hovel. Oh my god, bleh, I can't wait to read today. On 12 Dorset Street, Room E. When the young street auction is found stumbling on steps of 201B, tells of his father's disappearance during a secret special job. Right. So I'll go to there. Confirm. Oh, fast travel there. Oh, I'll shut up my apartment to if I need anything, take me anything anywhere. Oops, it does I. Well, at least I know I can fast travel from place to place now.
Why does it always take so long for blank? They take forever. Come on. Finally. These streets are too narrow for the cab. I'll have to walk. <clears throat> Might as well go do now. So I'm on. Well, so actually I'm on Dawson Street now. Right. So where's the thing then? Right. Go first person or I feel third person. More so. Where am I going? Dorset Street. Right, so you got 16, 15, 14, 3, 13 Ah, 12 Here we go Alright, so A, B, C Yeah, A B, C It's F What's up here? D, E Right, here we are. This is our home, Mr. Holmes. Hmm. Now I think I have to look around and investigate, I think. My mother, sir. She died when I was very young. My father told me what she was like. But that's all I have. I'm sorry, Tom. My mother left me when I was very young, too. covered his bills ahead of time, thus providing Tom with security and sustenance. Well, I can see the preparations for peasant soup, a clever concoction for somebody with apparently no culinary skills. Food's running low. It's already three weeks since George Hurst's disappearance. A collection of worn out and second hand books. George Hurst was providing his son with the best education that he could afford. Father bought all those books for me. He didn't tell me, but I know that he pawned his coat for them. Hmm. What? Huh, so that's why you came to see me. Tom probably reads at night.
The roof leaks all the time. Father used to fix it. There's a ladder there, so see what's up there. It's too dark. I can't see anything. Maybe use the candle. So let's try to go back up there then. Oh, that's done. Another satchel, what's in it? Hello there, George. I know it's difficult for you to find a job, and you need to feed and so and clothe your son. So I've attached to this letter a pub leaflet. I've heard that there is a fellow there who is offering a special job. Maybe it will help you. I hope so. Good luck. Right, so who's this letter from is my first question. And where they where they come from? That's what we've got so far. Candle. We've got bills. Address. Clothing patches. Malnutrition. And he's eight years old, right? So that's where we are right now. Right. Back out of all this. What's it saying RB for? So the old table club, pub club, I can't speak today, pub. So we're here at 12, so we've got to go left or right, whichever way it is, and the pub's up there. Right. Now let's back out of this place then. So we're here at 12. I have to find it. Can I go this way? No, over left. I don't feel thirsty right now. Seriously, that's what. I don't feel thirsty right now. So what am I to do now? It says, come here. Can't, why can't I speak to him? Why is there a back or something that I do not know about? Oh, no one's home. Is there a back road to this pub? Yeah, the old team are pub this way. Right, I'm gonna see if there's a back road in.
Where was it? My chapel never changes. Dirt and beggars everywhere. Number five. Really? Oh, shush you. Oh. The pub's here. I can't get in either. No, that's not. That's. That was something else. So, first person, see if I can find anything else. Oh, you know what? I'm going to leave it for the next episode. I have to try and. I don't feel thirsty right now. I'm just going to leave it here. Well guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Press the bell as well so you get notified when I upload videos. And press the like button as well. So yeah, that's it done. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.